What's going on, my mobile gamers? As you guys probably already know, PvP is live. That's right. It finally happened. We have PvP. Now, I already recorded a, a session of me and one of my friends battling, which I'm going to release later. It's all pretty much just game footage. <laughs> it's about 30 minutes long. It was an impromptu. Literally just recorded it right before the, what I'm doing right now. Um, but I wanted to make a slightly informative video first. And, um, well, here we go. Let's see. First thing you want to know is... You can battle trainers. And that's actually the first thing I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to battle one of our trainers here. I'm going to battle my trainer on, on Team Mystic. And so I will have to battle Blanche. It says a little description. Team Mystic Leader. My analysis show that you are a force to be reckoned with. But can you match my technique? Let's find out. You still get to choose which league you wish to battle them in. So I'm going to go Master League. And that's Jason sending me some screenshots because as part of our uh, as part of our rewards, you get rewards, mostly Stardust, but we also got a Sinnoh Stone, so it is confirmed, people. You can get Sinnoh Stones from battles. <coughs> uh, yeah. Sinnoh Stones from battles, people. Get them. Get them on the hot. Alright. Somebody just... Sorry. I'll let it that one out. Alright. So, uh, I'm going to go Master League. And I'm just going to go with the recommendations that it has. Well, it's a tap-based system. So you do have to build up your charge move. Alright, just gonna attack and you get to deploy your shield. You only get two of these during any battle, so use them wisely, people. Use them wisely. And you get to charge up your charge move. Okay, she didn't block, so she took the brunt of it. So she's gonna bring up our second Pokemon. Got to charge up my charge move. I'm gonna let him hit me. Cause I knew I wasn't gonna do much damage. You know what? Switch to the other Pokemon. I'm gonna bring my now. Bring out my Mewtwo. Slapped him once and he was done. Of course, you would have an artist, you know. Not surprised there at all. We're gonna hit it with a shadow ball. And, um. And that's how you battle. Now, you can get a reward from your trainer once a day, which I'm doing right now. I've got my 500 Stardust, and that builds up the um, the old badge there that we used to have that they unretired. Um, that's called the Ace, uh, Ace Trainer Badge, I believe. So I can build it up that way. So, a huge thing a lot of people will want to know. There is an unlockable second charge move now see and the cost is different just so you know it appears that it'll be a hundred thousand for some of the higher level ones 
seems to be legendaries and up. See, that's a hundred thousand and a hundred candy. So that's something you have to keep in mind. I got one candy. I'm not gonna be unlocking this anytime soon. One. So it's hundred thousand candy. Sorry, a hundred thousand stardust and a hundred candy. For different ones, it's different costs. Seventy-five thousand for Dragonite here. Again, I showed my Tyranitar first. It was also seventy-five. Uh, even though I hatched them from an egg, I don't think there's a difference whether they come from an egg or not. Uh, 75,000 for him. He came from an egg. Let me get another one of my Tyranitars. Uh, this one also from an egg. <clears throat> okay. Let me find another Tyranitar. This one I got from a friend. Also 75,000, so that is confirmed. Egg. Um. Uh, what's the word? Origin of the Pokemon egg or capture does not have any bearing on the cost for stardust although I didn't check candy that guy was 75 and this one is also 75 so yeah origin of the Pokemon does not denote cost neither does shiny sorry neither does and I know this for a fact neither does uh, it being Lucky Pokemon, in case you guys had that question. But uh, lower Pokemon will have a lot lower cost to get a charge and move going. Here, I just went to my low level ones. And uh, charge move is 50,000. I think I saw somewhere that you could even get them as low as 10,000. Let's check out Pikachu. So, my Pikachu, there you go. 10,000, and he's a Christmas hat Pikachu. Pikachu! Yeah, that's right, Pikachu. Pikachu! You like your hat? Pikachu! <laughs> All right, buddy. All right. 10,000 for my Wilmer as well. All right, so let's see. What other information do you need to know? Um, okay, information you need to know. Got a QR code. If you are nearby, I wish they would just have like a lobby, but they don't. Um, you kind of have to scan each other's QR code. So you get challenge trainer. And then you get the QR code, that's actually just my floor. <laughs> I guess I should clean it up, what is that? I'm not sure what that is. Oh, it's a piece of paper of some sort. Anyway, and that's where my video cut on on me. Now, I had to re-record. This is just the re-recording now. Um, so yeah, talking about the QR codes. Uh, I was trying to say that I wish they had a lobby, kind of like how they have um, the um, the uh, when you trade Pokemon. That would be extremely useful if they could just have it within a certain amount of range. Uh, that would be very. Ooh, sorry guys, been trying to get candies for this weasel guy. Weasel, weasel, weasel the weasel. Sorry, I was saying, uh, so yeah, lobbies. We want a lobby um, so that, I mean, you know, doesn't have too far off. At the very least, give us the uh, trading distance lobbies so that we can battle other people just random, you know? You don't have to meet face-to-face. -face. A lot of people don't like to talk to each other face-to-face. -face. I know this game, you're supposed to go out, meet friends, meet people, make friends, but uh, not a lot of people are comfortable doing that, so... Okay, so this guy's just candy. I think my volume was a little too loud. Uh, yeah, I'm still looking for a good one to evolve to. I just barely got enough candy to evolve them. But I need to find a good IV one. So this guy is going to be a trade. Alright. Oh. 
But basically that's my thoughts on the PvP process. PvP fun. Glad they finally released it. Unlike all of those naysayers out there that are just complaining, hey, at least this is the start of a good battle system. And in case we didn't mention, you get to fight any of the other trainers you want. Not just your own. Alright, well, that's it for today. Go out there, have fun, battle, trade. Have a great day, keep it safe, keep it mobile. See you in the next vid.